All right, so here we're looking at the mass, or in this case, the weight, right, on Earth at least, the weight of a mosquito. And on average, we can define the weight of a typical mosquito to be 0 .000, 000, right, so four zeros, five zeros, and a two, kilograms and that makes sense because a kilogram if you remember is a thousand grams so if you were to measure and a gram is about the weight of a paper clip right a gram one gram is about one paper clip one average size paper clip if you can picture a thousand grams a kilogram right that's a lot more than one mosquito so it makes sense to me at least that the mosquito is a very small amount of kilograms here and probably would make more sense to measure this in milligrams which we'll get to in a moment but our job here is to rewrite this in scientific notation and what I want to do first of all is rewrite it so it says something right a number that is between 1 and 10 not including 10 but including 1 times 10 to some power in kilograms. So what do I do? Well, I want to move this decimal all the way over here, right? Because what that does, if I move the decimal from here to here, that gives me the number 2, right? 2 point something or point 0. And that's a number that's between 1 and 10, right? 1 and 10, not including 10, but including 1. And that's just a little interval um, symbology there, right? This curved line means not including 10. This boxed line right here means including 1. And that fits within the parameter. I don't want to move the decimal point here because that would be 0.2. And 0.2 is not between 1 and 10. So that's my guideline for moving the decimal. But by doing that, I made this number significantly larger. right? I made it 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million times larger from 0.000. .000 Zero, zero, 002 all the way up to the number 2. So I don't want to change my number, right? I just want to rewrite it in scientific notation. So I have to rebalance it by dividing it by 10 six times. Because here I multiplied it by 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. That means I moved my decimal all the way over here. So to keep the number equivalent, right, that means I need to divide by 10 that many times. And now it's the same number. So this this number can be written as 2 times 10 to the negative 6th, or this be in milligrams. Well, um, 1,000 milligrams equals 1 gram, and 1 gram, right, equals 1 1,000th, 1, 0.001, 10 hundred thousandths of a kilogram. So I have 0 0.00. 0, 0, 0, 0002 kilograms. So if I multiply that by a thousand, that'll tell me how many grams I have, right? Just as a conversion here. So let's do that. That'll give me 0, 0.0, right? Well, to if I multiply this by a thousand, right? That means I multiply it by three place values: 10, 100, 1,000. I'll move my decimal here, and I get 0, 0, 0.002, right? grams. So 0 0.002 grams is equal to 0 0.000002 kilograms. And I can convert this to milligrams. How do I do that? Well, if we look at the ratio here, if I take a gram and I multiply it by a thousand, right, that tells me how many milligrams I have, right, because of course um, it's uh, a, a milligram is a thousand times smaller. So one gram equals a thousand milligrams. So this, to write it in milligrams, I just multiply it by a thousand again, and I get two milligrams. Which, if you if you think about it, that's a much more reasonable weight to use. And I don't, I think this is about accurate. I, I'm just pulling this off of a, a test sample, but if you go online, you can see other average weights about two and a half milligrams. Um, so basically, to get from kilograms. We multiply all the way to milligrams. We multiply by a thousand to get grams, right? And then by a thousand again to get milligrams. When you multiply by a thousand twice, that's like multiplying by a million. So a shortcut to go from kilograms 
right, to milligrams is to multiply your number by a million. And that just helps you to get a sense and to see that the milligrams are a much friendlier scale for the weight of a, mos of a mosquito. I right, hope that helped.